guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jasmine. Hello. Today is my birthday. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hit the books. I discovered something new today, and that's my baby book. I'm so excited that I have this because it goes perfect with today's video, and I feel like it's just necessary. I have some really cool fun facts that I would like to share with you guys, so let's go. I hope my angle didn't change because it was actually really good. So this is how the baby book looks like. Nice and cute, nice and fuzzy, and good vibes, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> There's a lot of information in this book. This book belongs to Jasmine Militano. Mommy found out she was pregnant on March 16th of 2007. The doctor told her that my due date was October 29th, 2007. But really? I was born how many days before? 28, 27, 26. I was born three days before my actual due date, October 26th. Mommy and daddy first heard my heartbeat June 11th of 2007. And then my mom put up, posted a picture on here. This was me at seven months pregnant with Jasmine, August 22nd, 2007. You guys can see that. My parents named me Jocelyn Militano because that was the first name me and your father agreed on. They also considered naming me Rain, Jamaris, and Maya. Oh, imagine my name wasn't Jocelyn and it was either Rain, Jamaris, or Maya. Whoa. Insane. If your name is one of those, no hate towards you, but it's just not my type of name. Uh, my mom has my bracelet and her bracelet of the hospital and then a picture of when I was first born. And then I have my footprint right there when mommy first saw me she was shocked of how beautiful i was and surprised how the first thing i did was poop on my mom's arm and here's my dad carrying me in this little picture over here so cute oh my god i have a picture of myself hi this baby right there was so cute. I was welcomed home by mommy, daddy, grandma, and aunt Catherine. My room was set up and decorated with uh, Wally Green, I think that's what it said, and decor was baby looney tunes i'm editing right now and it's funny because this is my old crib of when i was like first born my sister uses it till this day my little sister and it's actually decorated with baby looney tunes so that was like kind of part of the decor i just wanted to add that in i found something really cool which was watch me grow and it said that my first solid foods were cheese doodles my favorite food was white rice and the foods that I didn't really like was oatmeal, barley, and the first finger foods that I fed myself was cheese doodles and Cheerios. Aww. And that's pretty much it, actually. Hey guys, we are currently in the car, and we're on our way to go pick up my friend Olivia, and then we're gonna go to my grandma's house to, so they can sing happy birthday to me, and then we'll see what happens what after that. Why? Why? Do it over there and then try and walk back here. Yeah. The fans in the way too. So. Right there. She's so happy. <laughs> Mommy, grab your ear. Three. Five, Mommy, the drink. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
truly sorry for my hair like I tried filming this like literally a minute ago and my hair was just not cooperating so I was like let me not this is the best it could get and I'm sorry about it but right now I'm gonna be doing a what I got for my 12th birthday haul most of my gifts were money and my parents are gonna throw me this huge gift and that's um, allowing me to rearrange my whole room they're budgeting me they're ch no that, that was not the right word. They're chipping in. I'm also chipping in. I'm, I'm working really hard. I already made some, so. I don't know what I'm talking about. But a lot of my gifts are coming in later. People are still taking, gonna be taking me shopping. And I'll be giving hauls on that. And also, I'll be vlogging for as long as I need to. You guys can see the process of this room transformation. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. I'm grateful for everything I have. I am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I don't think I need to repeat myself about this. Because you probably saw a bunch of these videos already. And you've heard the same disclaimer. So, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start with my friend Kayla, what she got me for my birthday. Uh, she got me this Papaya Sunrise Cove, I think you call it, lotion from Bath & Body Works. And oh my god, it smells so good. And honestly, she didn't have to do this. She didn't have to do this for me, but she got it for me anyways. And that's why I'm so thankful. And then she also got me a shower gel, Winterberry Wonderland. And oh my god, this bowl is so good too. Thank you, Kayla, for that. Uh, so mini little present that my mom got me was this uh, Perfect Tone lip gloss. And you know, guys, I love my clear lip gloss. This is the lip gloss that I was wearing at the beginning of this video when I was doing the baby book topic. And just in case you wanted to kind of see how it looked. But oh my god, I love it so much. Thank you, mom, for that. And then my friend Isabella also knows that I'm addicted to clear lip gloss. So she got me a clear lip gloss for my birthday. Thank you so much, Isabella. You didn't have to. Okay. And I find this really cute, actually. How... I don't know who to consider her. Somebody gave me this double bubble machine. And oh my god, it's the cutest, guys. It's... Mmm, they're all different flavors. Mmm, that's pretty good. Thank you for this. You guys might think this is childish, but wow. This is awesome, I'm telling you. And it's also great decor. Coming along with this birthday card that she gave me. Alright, thank you for that. My friend Olivia, my bestie, my sister. It was cringy. She did this homemade card for me. And you don't understand how much I love this homemade card. Or like any homemade card in general. I find it so cute and loving. And it comes like straight from the heart. So, yeah, she made this just for me. And it's so cute. Uh, and this little paper clip right here. She put $25 in it, so thank you for this $25. I don't want to read it and kind of put her information out like that because maybe she doesn't feel comfortable with that. She probably would, but we're not taking any chances, you know? I found this really sweet. Thank you so much, Olivia. Oh, yes. Let me... I know what. My uncle and his girlfriend got me some vans, and it's off the wall. <laughs> All right, let's open this. ASMR. We got the nice black and white vans. Yo, they be looking like a snack though. I'm gonna stop. Thank you so much. They always give me shoes and they always give me the best shoes. So I'm like, wow, I love you, period. Thank you for that. Okay, like high key though. My grandma really went off on the clothing. She got me two pieces of clothing, but like she went off on them. You got these uh, tights right here. They're a nice navy blue color and the inside. Yo, it's the coziest thing ever. It's so warm and soft. I'm gonna be wearing the I'm gonna be wearing these around the house like hey yo, what's up? You jealous or something? Like I sounded like a robot. Nah, I'm just kidding. I won't say that, but I really love these tights, grandma. Mama. I call it mama. Then 
she got me this cute matching sweater with like stars and little rainbows on it these will be i always wear a sweater around the house because <clears throat> i'm always so cold so this will always be the sweater that i wear around the house no matter what you guys tell me period so thank you grandma so much i love you so much my godmother got me this shirt with a nice little heart on it well sweater with a nice little heart on it and you guys may think it's sequins but don't get your hopes up because it's not but it's still so pretty thank you so much rosemary and like i told you before most of my presents were money so just got the moolah right here hold up i'm gonna make a thumbnail 